Thanks for coming to this afternoon's session, which uh, the whole day has been focused on neurologic complications. For anyone who wasn't here uh, during the last session, we centered on stroke. So now we're going to center on spinal cord perfusion issues or spinal cord issues. That would give you a hint as to what the complications are in some of the cases that we're presenting. Um, but pretend you don't know that as we present the cases. So let's start with the slides. I'm going to present two cases now and then two cases right before the break. And then at the end, we have about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour of discussion uh, where we'll discuss the various aspects of this, but we can have some discussion here as well. So this is uh, the fourth case of the day. It's a 70-year-old who had an aneurysm that was followed for a while, from, since 2000, has some coronary artery disease, um, bad COPD, which was really the deterrent from any sort of open procedure back in 2000, um, but has a very strong family history of aneurysms and ruptured aneurysms. Um, the patient's aneurysm was considered small at that point and then presented um, to an outside hospital uh, with a seven centimeter uh, aneurysm was felt to be a high risk surgical candidate. So this is a picture of his aneurysm. and. Um, I think we'll go over it in greater detail on the, uh, on the Terra Recon. But the interpretation of this scan was really that it was a type 4 thoracoabdominal aneurysm or ending somewhere in the visceral segment, had an occluded left internal iliac aneurysm, and also had a right common iliac aneurysm. So I put these notes on the slides for me to now show you the CAT scan and then for you guys to determine the surgical plan, and then we have to wait until the end of the afternoon to figure out what happened. So can we switch to the terror recon? So here's the CAT scan. I'll start at the top and scroll down um, and give you my interpretation. So fairly normal arch and ascending aorta. There's a little bit of um, ectasia in this thoracic aorta here. Um, Coming down, here's the celiac, and you see there's aneurysm at the level of the celiac artery, SMA, the renal arteries, and there's two right renal arteries. There's the top one right here, and the lower one's right here, and there's the left renal. It comes down here, kind of an oblique-shaped aneurysm. And here's the right common iliac artery, which is aneurysmal down to 